start go Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to your name. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Sikiri. Thank you, Lord of glory. Thank you, King of kings. Thank you, God of Israel. I worship you. I bless you. I glorify you. In my great and mighty name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, I will wait for us to emote ourselves so that by the grace of God, we be able to respond and participate in this uh, prayer tonight in Jesus' name. Praise Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. Where, where I greet every one of you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the God of glory, who make it possible to count us worthy to be alive and to be able to live and to see wonderful day as the day is running up, coming to a close. The God that have seen us through during the day will see us through during the night in Jesus' name. Amen. And I'm believing God that tonight, tonight the, power the power of God will be every one of us and we will have a testimony. Let's pray together. together. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, we Amen. thank you for this hour. We bless your name for your goodness over our life. We thank you for your compassion. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your mercy. Father, receive all the praises and thanks, even tonight, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, the King of kings, and the Lord of law, the God of glory, the omnipresent God, the omniscience God, the unbeatable God, the unreversible God, the unconquerable God, the King of kings, the Lord of Lord, the God of the universe, we worship you, we bless you. We glorify you. We exalt our Father of our Lord Jesus. We are looking up to you tonight. May you visit us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We pray that tonight your power and your spirit will visit us mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. My brother, let's Amen. open our mouth. Let's begin to thank God. Let's begin to worship the Lord. Let's begin to give the God the glory. Let's glorify the name of the Lord. Open your mouth and bless the Lord for his goodness and for his mercy over our life. Open your mouth and begin to give God the praise. Begin to give God the glory for his goodness, for his mercy, for his compassion, for his preservation, for his faithfulness, for his care, for his loving kindness. Oh, worship the Lord, oh my soul. Bless him and give him the glory due unto his name. Call upon the Lord and bless the name of the Lord. Please, I want to hear you praying. This is this is a midnight prayer. Please emote yourself. Emote yourself. iPhone, please emote yourself. Emote yourself, please. Let's 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 join hands together and let's pray united prayer and let's pray with one voice. Let's pray together. Emote yourself. Let me hear the voice of the warrior. Let me hear the voice of the champion. Let me hear the voice of the, of, of the warrior praising the name of our God, worshiping the King of Kings, giving God the glory for his goodness over our life, giving God the glory for his benefit over our life. I want to hear the voice of the victors. I want to hear the voice of the overcomer. I want to hear the voice of the conqueror. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me. Give him the glory due unto him. Our God is a good God. Worship him for that. Our God is the everlasting God. Glorify him for that. There is no one like him. 
is a king of kings, who is the Lord of Lord, is a king of glory, who is a God that's been in the world before the world began, is the unbeatable God, is the unreversible God, is the unchangeable God, is the almighty God, is the God of yesterday, God of today, God forevermore, God on the mountain, God in the valley. He's still on the throne. He's there. Bless him for his protection over your life. Bless him for his grace over your life. Bless him for victory over your life. Bless him for serving your life. Bless him for upholding your life. Bless him. What a great God was that. Ancient of days, of days, King of Kings, Lord of, Lord of God, the unchangeable. Give him the glory, using all of our holy name. Our God, 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 God is a wonderful God. What a mighty God we have! What a great God we have! What a mighty God we have! For the grace of God, present everywhere at the same time. What a mighty God we have! The unbeatable God. Give him the glory to always holy name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. For our God is good. Reward them for what they've done for you. Reward them for your salvation. By your power. In the name of Jesus. I am that you are holy. I hold them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. The psalmist say, Who can understand this error? Cleanse down me from every secret fault. You are going to present your heart before the Lord. Whatever that will be a fault, that will be as an entrance to your prayer tonight. Ask the Lord to cleanse it out of your life. Ask the blood of Jesus to wash you, to cleanse you, to cleanse you, to purify you from every spot, from every wrinkle, from every blemish, from every iniquity, from every sin. Let the blood of Jesus Christ cleanse your heart, cleanse your thoughts, cleanse your imagination, cleanse and wash every spot out of your life. Ask the Lord, call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. You know you are the entry. Your heart, the power of the heart. Check in me. Purify your heart. To wash the thought in your heart. Ask the Lord that the power of the blood of Jesus to cleanse your heart and cleanse your thought and purify you from every spot and wrinkle. Call upon the Lord because tonight. You, we are going to receive answer to your prayer. Tonight, the power of God will tonight. Tonight, the Spirit of God will take over every challenges, every struggles. The Lord Almighty will, will destroy those struggles. Tonight, you'll be delivered tonight. To hear your heart and ask the Lord to wash and bless and God and purify you. So that the power of God will be perfect and work with you and friends and wonders in your life tonight. We pray. Amen. Please, I want you to emote yourself so I can hear you because this is midnight prayer. This is prayer. not during the day prayer. prayer. This is not afternoon prayer. It's midnight Amen. prayer. Except you are on a special duty or you are in the place where there is where there is noise and there is disturbance. If, if not, please, if you are at home in your car, please. I want you to emote yourself so that by the grace of God, grace we, of can God. Enjoy, we can continue our prayer. And tonight, God will visit you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My brothers, I, before we go into tonight's battle, into tonight's prayer, I want to take some prayer requests, about two or three prayer requests. Somebody wrote to me privately. He said, Pastor Ali, he said he had a dream. That, that a that person, person who's supposed to help him is rather pulling him down. After that dream, he said his senior brother in America phoned, phoned him to ask for money that he had a kidney problem. And hmm. he's coming from the hospital. We are going to pray. Somebody who's supposed to help this, our brother, is that for him, help him is the person is now pulling him. And you are going to pray for the stagnancy in his life. Every power pulling, pulling down. We are going to pray. God will deliver him. 
From every spirit of stagnancy, God will deliver him. Amen. We pray. Amen. We are going to pray for this brother once again. Hey, we are going to pray. Failure at the edge of breakthrough break, 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 break. in life. Failure at the edge of breakthrough. We are going to pray that God will destroy failure at the edge of breakthrough. Amen. Every spirit of failure at the edge of breakthrough in his life, in his family, in his ministry. Let's ask the Lord that God will destroy that spirit of failure out of his Every life. Disappointment. Every spirit of disappointment at the edge of breakthrough. All of the Lord that God will deliver from the spirit of disappointment. At the edge of breakthrough. The life of my life. Get away from us, O Lord, by your power. Let's make it a failure of in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Please, Sister Esther, immute yourself. Brother Mike, immute yourself. And uh, who is this again? Please, immute yourself. This is midnight prayer. This is midnight prayer. Except you are in a noisy place. Please, I expect you to immute yourself. I want to hear you praying to God. Because things must change tonight as we see the face of God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Somebody said, pray for me that God Almighty will help me and guide him and give him revelation and vision for life. And God will help him to do, that God will help him to be instrument in his hands. Let's pray for this person. He wants to be used by God. That, that the hand of God will rest upon oh, his life, that God will guide him and give him revelation, that he will be his true God. Let's pray for this person. God, make him instrument in your hand. Guide him, God. And give him a revelation. Let's call upon the Lord on his behalf. Let's call upon the Lord on his behalf. That God of heaven will give you revelation. God of heaven will make you to be instrument in his hand. That God of heaven will give him vision. And give him vision and also everything in life. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Father, we thank you because for all these prayer requests, we have tendered before you this prayer conference. We are believing you. You are going to answer all these requests in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The Bible say unto 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 God, unto God that answer prayer. Unto is all flesh come. Father, as we come tonight to seek your face tonight, as we come tonight to possess our possession, we pray that everyone on this prayer conference be possess their possession in Jesus' name. Amen. Speak to us briefly as we want to break the word of life as we exhort each other. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Tonight, briefly before we go to the second part of the prayer, I'm talking to you tonight, possessing your possession through the forces of violence. In Leviticus chapter 20, verse 24, if you have your Bible, listen to me as I read the word of God to you. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 24, but I have said unto you, ye shall inherit the land. And I will give oh. it unto you to possess it, a oh. lamb that is flowing with meat and honey. Oh. And I am the Lord your God, who have separated you from other people. Possessing, 
your possession through the forces of violence. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 12, Matthew chapter 11, verse 12, from the days of, of John, John the Baptist to now, the mm -hmm. kingdom of heaven suffered violence. Okay, okay, okay. And the violent take it by force. And they take it by force. The forces of violence, which is also the fighting spirits, is a very critical, uh, what I will call, um, um, empowerment, requirement for possessing your possession. Listen to me, my brother. There is no victory without violence. There is no possession without aggressiveness. And there is no conquest without contents. If you are not ready to contend with the enemy, you are not ready to possess your, your territory. And that is why I want to challenge you now. Because you must be ready to contend with your enemy. Because if you are not ready to contend with your enemies, the strong man and the power that is contending with you, that means you are not ready to possess your, po your possession. But I believe God tonight, you will possess your possession in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Jacob become Israel became through the force of violence and the fighting spirit. In Genesis chapter 32, from verse 24, and Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him unto the breaking of day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he tossed the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of his joint as he wrestled with him. Verse 26, and he said, let me go. For the day breaker, and he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. And verse 27, and he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince, as thou power with God and with man, and thou hast prevailed. Here is a man that was Jacob. Who possess his possession through the spirit of fighting, the, the fighting, fighting spirit. spirit. Let, let me go. I will I not let you go. You, you must have that fighting spirit within you tonight to possess your possession. Do you remember Caleb? Caleb possessed his inheritance after 40, 45 years of waiting through the forces of violence and the fighting, fighting spirit. spirit. There is no time to read that in, in the book of um, Joshua chapter 14 from verse 10 to 14. Until you are ready for war, you are not ready to win. I take it again. Until you are ready for war, you are not ready to win. Every promised land, my brother, my sister, they are giants. And it is the duty of the owner to possess those possessions. Because every promised land, they are, they are giants in that place. There, there, there are hierarchies here. And it is the duty of the owner to, to, to dispossess all those people that will drive them in. David took Jerusalem from the hand of Jehovah and through the spirit of fighting. Now, finally, James. Jabez, we all know the story of Jabez, went all from his sorrowful poverty to become a to become a celebrated city through the fighting spirit. In First Chronicles chapter four, from verse nine, and Jabez was and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. His mother called his name Jabez, saying. Because I bear him with sorrow, verse 10. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, And at last I call, that thy hand be upon me, and that thou couldst keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. Here was a man, Jabez. Sorrow everywhere, interests everywhere, no breakthrough in his life. In fact, no, no, no inheritance. 
in fact, everything of his life is upside down. And there is no prosperity. And everything is about failure, setback, disappointment in his life. And Jabez wrestled with the spirit of fighting spirit. Jabez wrestled. And he prayed. And he prayed. And he prayed. And he prayed. He prayed until he conquered the strong man. He prayed until he demolished every, of the demolished every force, every first partition in his foundation. He prayed until he prayed over every power preventing him to succeed in life. I want to challenge you tonight as we go to this, as, as we launch into the hour of prayer, you will destroy. Every person that has vowed never to release your glory. You know, the enemy, the enemy, the enemy, the overcome, the enemy, 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 the to you, what God has assigned for you in life, you will possess it. You will possess it. You will possess the possession in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know, you are going to pray the first prayer now. When Moses went to Moses went to Pharaoh, let my people go. Pharaoh said in Exodus chapter 5, verse 2, he said, Who is the Lord that I should allow Israel to go? I am not the Lord. You are going to pray and call upon the Lord. You are going to ask the Lord destruction. You are going to command destruction upon any personality that has vowed never to release of you are going to release destruction upon any personality that has found never to release your possession upon your matter of call upon the Lord. Your possession may be your possession may be a financial breakthrough, your possession may be your maritime breakthrough, your possession may be your freedom in life, your possession may be your possession. Whoever that has been so he has found like they vow against Paul that of their keep Paul, they will not they will not eat, they will not drink of their keep Paul. Destruction of every facility that has bound, never to release any possession of the Lord. Call of the Lord. Destruction upon the strong man. Destruction upon the strong woman. Destruction upon the power. Destruction of any person that has bound, never to release your breakthrough. Never to release your 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 True, call upon the Lord that the power of God will stand destruction upon their head in the name of Jesus. The spirit of God will stand destruction upon their head. Pharaoh said, I shall allow Israel to go. I do not know the Lord. Whatever contends you, my brother, whatever contends you, my sister, the power of God will command destruction upon the head. Tonight, you are coming out of God's bondage. Tonight, you are coming out You are coming out of God's bondage. Amen. My brothers and sisters, you don't know that life is a battle. In this mm -hmm. world, there are battles. And before you come, before you prepare, you know the Bible says from the time of John the Baptist to now, the kingdom of heaven suffered parents. If it's not quiet and prayer, it's warfare prayer. Until you are ready for war, you are not ready to win. Do you hear me? Until you yeah. are ready for war, you are not ready to win. That is why you must arise. You must stop yourself. 
You must pray for a change in your life. As you pray for a change in your life, the power of God will come. The power of God will come and 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 deliver you in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In Amen. Amen. chapter two, the Bible says, "For the for 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 the empty heart, I've emptied them out." The empty house. Now go to verse two. Say the he said God have told the excellencies of, of, of Jacob for the empty house have emptied them out. Whatever they have empty empty out in your life, your spirit of life, whatever they have empty out in your in your in your family, whatever they have empty out, the empty house, you are going to pray that the power of God will destroy all the powers of the empty house. That normally empty virtue out of your life. That normally empty virtue out of your family. Empty against you and your house. The fire of the Lord will consume you. Open your pray. Call upon the Lord. By the Holy Spirit. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Call upon Okay. 